Hi everyone, Ted again from Ecom Orange County Goodwill. And uh, we're gonna go over some things that were donated this uh, week and uh, see what we can't find here. Uh, I brought this out because this is typically how things are donated. You know, they're just kind of all randomly put in a box. Now, usually they will put toys with the toys and they'll say, oh, you know what, we don't want these anymore. Kids grown out of them or whatever. And now they're donating. So what we have to do is we have to take this and kind of make sense out of it. So that way we can put it online. So we're gonna try to get like things with like things, action figures with action figures, and I see a lot of Pokemon in here. And now we're not, they're not experts out there. So they don't really, um, you know, they don't know if this Pokemon is going to be a $50 Pokemon or anything like that. So they'll really just kind of lot them up into Pokemon and then when they, when they take a picture, they'll spread them all out and the experts will know, hey, that's that Pokemon that they want. And that's whenever the bidding war starts to happen on shopgoodwill.com. Okay, well, so what's in here? So this is mostly Star Wars in here, but we have some cars and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll just start taking out the cars. And I'm trying to purify this. With just uh, Star Wars stuff. Oh, there's a door stop. See, we get all sorts of random things in there. It actually looks like a lot of Star Wars, so it's pretty cool. This looks like it's all Pokemon. Oh, look, it has a Pokemon pin in there. It has all the figures. Wow. So this might just be a lot. And so they'll spread this all out and they'll take pictures like in quadrants so that way you can kind of get a close-up on whatever and then the bidding starts from there so basically right now we'll probably do this as a lot so the star wars this will probably go over to see if we're going to make that into a lot or do we have some more cars out there that we might be able to add to it but this pokemon lot i think this is the score i think this is going to be the I think that's gonna be the one that everybody goes after. These are, that's a lot of figures. You gotta catch them all, right, Pokemon? All right. Okay, so my jewelry expert has brought me this ring. It's a Versace 4 h and M. Is that right? That's right, okay, good. I got that right. So you can actually see there's a marking right there on it, yeah. And it looks like a, that rose petals on there, right? And mm -hmm. some kind of flower. What did they do this for? Versace for H&M. Yeah. So it's just a ring for... It's just the, for that H&M. For that H &M. store. For that you store. Only buy it at H &M. So you can only buy it at H&M. And so that is going up. Let's go to the Prada. Size of these. They're not giving me size, but... They are very, very clean. That's the first thing we're gonna check when we do shoes in Goodwill. Well, that's the first thing we check is the soles to see if they, you know, how much wear and tear. These ones don't have much on them at all. But it has a serial number right here. So that probably, we probably had to take a picture of that to get the COA on it, the certificate of authenticity. After concluding here, we think these are size eight. If, if they can't determine a size, what they'll do is they'll just take a, um, a ruler and give you guys the size of the foot. So yeah, Prada. Dooney and Burke. And this one actually came in plastic. And it's another brand stinking new one with that COA. It's got the purse, what is that? What did we call this last time? The dust cover bag. Yeah, I'll learn. Got that new smell. <laughs> nice. Oh, it has these little like buckles right there. All right. Wow. That's really clean inside there. I really like. You can get a lot of stuff in here. I'm always telling my wife. I'm like, how come you have to bring that? How come you have to? How come you have to load all this stuff? And then we go to Disneyland. Honey, do you have the chapstick? Honey, do you have? <laughs> 
Do you have all that stuff? Trombone. I probably just murdered it but yeah it's got a nice case it looks like everything's complete I think you tighten it up right here with this nut okay let's look for that one coming out okay so for this last item I gotta put on my mask because I'm gonna bring somebody else over into the frame and uh, Susie is a NASCAR junkie so this is something that's really, really special that was donated and we've had it for a while and we're gonna go ahead and put it up now because we did our research and we finally found out everything to find out about it. Well, I didn't, Susie did her research. So this is a fire suit, correct? Correct. All right, give them a little bit about this. So this is a fire suit from Tom, the Mongoose McEwen. There was a movie made about Mongoose and Snake, they had a rivalry in racing when they were doing NHRA in Pomona. Tom was a local here in Orange County. He raced in the early 60s. Um, 70s, he got a deal from Hot Wheels. And if you were a collector of Hot Wheels back in the 70s, you probably had the Snake car and the Mongoose car. If you're familiar with Pomona, they have an NHRA museum at Pomona Fairplex. I took pictures of the jacket there. They had, the guy that was there um, actually said that this was his sewing. So he pretty much authenticated this for us. We do not have a certificate for it. All I can- They don't do that. They just don't do that, so. They won't authenticate yeah. the fire suits. This one, we're putting it between 1965 and 1967. It was before he raced the funny cars. Uh, the rare thing about this one is usually you only have a jacket. This one you have the jacket and the pants. It is that's got a lot of oil on it. It is heavily used. That's exactly how it should be. Exactly. <laughs> uh, look for this piece coming up. It is authentic. And unfortunately, you know, Tom isn't with us anymore. He passed away. Didn't he live around here, right? Yes, he lived in Orange, California. Okay. All right, I, I just think this is an amazing piece. We've had it for a little bit and we did our research and um, you know, and uh, we hope that you know, a collector as fanatical as uh, Susie is about this stuff. You can't see me <laughs> smiling, but I'm smiling under my mask. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and smash that like button and uh, subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what you wanna see. We're happy to do it. All right, bye-bye everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm.